In this video, we will demonstrate two things. First, how to download a programming manual, and second, how to program a Magellan scanner with the barcodes available in these manuals. To download a manual, go to our website at www.scanning.datalogic.com. Here we want to place our pointer over support, then slide it down to download search, and then click on manuals. Now click on the drop down arrow located in the box marked select a product and scroll through the menu to find your scanner and then click on it. Some document links will appear below. You will need to find the link that says product reference guide and click on it to open the manual. In most cases to begin programming your Magellan scanner you will need to first scan the switch label. This will give you a single beep. After you do this, the green LED will be blinking. This indicates that you are in programming mode. Next, scan a programming barcode. In this example, we are enabling the data bar omnidirectional symbology. Make sure to cover over the barcodes you do not want to scan. This will give you a triple beep, which means the scanner accepted it. If it does not accept the programming code, it will make this sound. To close programming, you simply need to scan the switch label after you are done. You can program as many barcodes as you would like in a single programming session. Another scenario you may run into is setting a programming option value. This could be setting a prefix, a custom label ID, or even a symbology length. We will set the code 39 label ID. In this case, the switch label will make a single beep, and the barcode that initiates the sequence also gives a single beep. For setting a label ID with this scanner, it requires eight digits from the appendix that has the number pad. We will just set it to all zeros which will make the label ID equal to nothing. On the last digit needed, it will give you the triple beep to let you know the value is complete. Then you can go on to your next programming item or scan the switch label to close. Finally, you may run across some programming barcodes that have the switch labels built in so that it looks like one long barcode. An example of this is the return to factory settings barcode found in the product reference guide. This barcode will give you a triple beep and the scanner will reset right after. In fact, the scanner will always reset after leaving programming mode.